A few ways that I've been involved in CAM is pretty much for the past like five years, anywhere that they needed me is where I went. <laughs> I've been everything from Judas to Jesus now at this point. <laughs> so I've got both ends of the spectrum covered. I've played a Pharisee. That was probably one of the first parts I ended up doing. But they were like, you don't have to sing well. You can still be on a uh, stage crew if you want or do something with that. So I did stage crew my first year. And then ever since then, you know, wherever they needed me. We used to do the productions as a family. And so I would come in, I would be one of the children that sat around Jesus. Apparently, there was some stuff that happened even before I can remember. Yeah, he was baby Jesus once. <laughs> <laughs> like, I can't preach a sermon like Pastor Ryan. I can't give announcements like Dorothy. Those are their gifts, and they thrive and shine beautifully with those. I know my gifts, and so I look at it in the sense that I'm good at these things. So I want to be able to use those to not only bring glory and honor to God, but to help bring others to Him. Because like, I can't go out and talk to somebody necessarily about the salvation, but I can be a character on the stage to try to help portray a story that might resonate with someone to connect them. Even though we're on stage and doing productions and stuff like that, we're we're trying to point the spotlight towards God. And it's been very humbling because he's really helped me to see um, that it's, it's not about me, it's not about how good I look. And it's just, he's really helped me, especially the past two years, um, to see that it's about him and it's about bringing others to him. My biggest thing for anyone that would be interested in joining is you don't have to be perfect at singing, playing, dancing, you know, you don't even have to, you know, be in the spotlight at all if you're just working behind the scenes. And it's, we, you know, as long as you're doing it for the Lord, then that's the main purpose to me. It's a very humbling experience. When you're standing there each performance before it starts and you're there for an hour and a half, two hours, having the big wounds put onto your body, to have it colored and then the body makeup and all the fake blood put on top of it, to realize that that has pales in comparison to what Jesus went through when he was flogged, when he was tortured and abused, and it, it just kind of is humbling. It, it makes you shudder when you think about that. And at times, when I was during the crucifixion scene, I literally was bawling while on the cross because it was like, I could see the pain. It looked so real on the people that were watching, and you could see their hearts sink, and it's like, it just kind of hit me, and I'm just like, I couldn't even imagine what emotions were going through Jesus when that happened. So it, it really refocused the why of what I was doing. <laughs>